Right, now we're gonna incorporate a scan. There's two types of scans. We're going to do a rangeism scan first. Since this is the safe direction, we're going to keep this pointed in this direction, but we're still gonna look behind us. A rangeism is something you modify because you have safety parameters on a range. I like to look left first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend at my ankles, my knees, and my hips, and I'm going to turn around and look to my left, and I'm gonna break the 180, and I'm gonna look past that. This is tedious, but in my head, I'm gonna say, I see a bush. All right, I'm always going to pick something out and just say it in my head. Then I'm gonna turn the other way, all right? And I see some tall grass over there. Break the 180, and then I come back, I scan my target one more time, and then I holster my weapon, all right? We always look at our holster as we're holstering the weapon. The reason we're saying something in our head, reset your triggers, go put it back. The reason we're picking something out every time is you have a shadow box? You never shadow? Okay, cool. All right, huh? I thought you were a shadow boxer. All right, so when you shadow box, you're picking out chin, floating ribs, right? You're not just flailing your arms out. Mm -hmm. If we just go bleh, bleh, in a real defense situation, we're gonna miss that dude with the shotgun standing right behind us because we're just going through the motions and we're heightened, right? We only fall back on our lowest level of training. So every time we scan, we're gonna pick something out. We're gonna be very deliberate with our motions, all right? So next, let's talk about the draw stroke. We're gonna break this down real quick by numbers. One, we're just gonna push down, so we're high up on the back strap. We're gonna push down, we're actually gonna feel it on our belt and on our holster. Two is when we manipulate that mechanism to release the holster, if you have a retention holster. And check me out, we're going to draw, and wherever's comfortable, we're going to immediately point it at the threat, or at the target, so boom. So my finger's pointed, okay? Three, so go ahead and do it, excellent. Now you don't have to drop it down, you can keep it up here, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that if you have to shoot from here, this slide doesn't hit your chest, all right? This hand, you wanna have a home when you do it, all right? I forgot to include that. Now it's at a home, we're gonna bring it up to our monkey with the symbol, make sure our grip is nice and good, and then we're gonna drive the gun out. Excellent. All right, we decide we don't have to shoot, we're gonna bring it back in, let's get a good scan, keeping that muzzle pointed so that's more of a real world scan. We're gonna do the rangeism scan. So we're gonna keep this pointed down range like we're on a firing range. And we're gonna turn like this. And I noticed when I did it before, I didn't either because we're on my property. All right, excellent. Are you breaking the 180? Scan the target one more time, the threat, make sure they're still down. Go ahead, holster your firearm. All right, so one, we're looking forward. We can just stand normal, or I like to put my hands right here because this is a good, you know, neutral position, a good gesture. I can reach out ahead, I can go for my firearm. One, I'm already starting to give my hand a home, and I push down on the firearm. Two, I manipulate the mechanism, I bring it up, and I point it forward. Give your hand a home, Leon, there we go. Three, we bring it up to monkey with a symbol. We have that good grip on there. So let's go ahead and adjust our grip because today we're just learning. Rotate that support hand forward slightly, looking great. Go ahead and drive that gun out into your eye line. Our elbows are slightly bent, our wrists are locked. You guys look great. All right, go ahead and pull the trigger. All right. Finger goes back on the frame because we're not shooting again. We're gonna compress. We're gonna do, this time, not a rangeism scan, all right? Where our muzzle is gonna go where our eyes do. So we're standing right next to each other, so we do wanna be careful not to flag, so it's gonna go down when you pass me. But we're just gonna to turn to our left and look all the way. I'm going to turn to my right and look all the way. Now, the other thing I could do is I could just turn and walk through it. That's the other thing I could do. Then I'm gonna check my threat one more time and go ahead and holster. I always watch when I holster. Excellent. All right, this time we're gonna be a little more fluid, so we don't necessarily, check this out, if I know my target is a ways away, I'm not going to stop right here. The way I do this is I'm going to, all right, so as I draw, it's just Cool, all right, go ahead and do it. Reset your firearm, because we're gonna do a nice dry fire. Once you get a good sight picture, go ahead and give a dry fire, then put your finger on the frame, compress, and we'll do a rangeism scan. All right, go ahead whenever you're ready at your own pace. There's no rush, it's just worrying about performing the task correctly. All right. Not bad. So the muzzle came a little close to me and Mike, but you were still within, so just make sure we're aware of that Move muzzle and then it. give your hand a home. Okay. Mike is doing this great because we've done this probably a thousand times already.
Hey folks, thanks for checking out this clip from Thunderpunk Radio. If you'd like to see the full pistol training video, check out the link below. And if you're enjoying what we're doing, please like, share, and subscribe. And one final thing, have a great day, and do your push-ups.